and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod, as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. gawping at me. Basically this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run so you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run and also Twitter at Film My Run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. Cheers everyone, good morning. Uh, last little bit of coffee before we get started in 90 seconds. Uh, it's the Film My Run 500. Uh, 500 metres of climb over 4.2 kilometres up Van Top in France here. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I uh, hope you all enjoyed Victoria's session last night. I left her to it on her own for the first time. She did all right, I think, didn't she? Uh, John Heppelwhite says, have a good run. Steve Mill, morning all. Have you ha hope you have a good session. Tian on uh, YouTube says, what's up? <sighs> right, let me just talk to the gang and see if there's anyone new around. says it was a nice session with Victoria. Good. She 
uh, she did a, a slow progressive, which was uh, ah K Berg. Okay, K Berg is new. We start by walking out first. There is a lead in. Morning, Clive. Good morning, Louise. Ty Finnemore says, Welcome, Kate. I'm going to get up there now, get up to 12%. get on with this heart rate monitor. Uh, Jeff Partridge, good morning to you. Uh, Stephen Smith, good morning to you. Right, we're up at 12% now and that feels, that feels tough already. Oh, is that Ryan Boyd on the start line? Amy, it's just because you're nervous because I'm back. Incline at 12%. Just walk it out and get used to how it feels. This is your last chance to relax and drink your morning coffee. Occurred. Disaster has occurred. Coffee spillage for me. Disaster. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> yeah, spilled the coffee. Coffee disaster says. Uh, Steve, yeah, absolutely. Nightmare. Oh no. Spilled coffee all over the treadmill, all over the floor. (laughs) 
Jeff Partridge says that Victoria was better than you last night. She didn't spill anything. If anyone tells me Victoria was more professional than me last night, I won't be happy. I'm going to have to do a major clear-up job after this. There is, there's coffee all over the Noble Pro. <laughs> Jeff says it's a statement of fact. Oh, dear. <sighs> yes, but you love me because I'm a disaster. Okay. Okay, here we go with the running thing. Five point five kilometers per hour. Get up on your toes. Heels not touching the ground. Let's play the game of keeping your heart rate below 150 beats per minute. Right, off we go. Steve Mill says someone needs a Tommy Tippy cup. Yeah. Seb, it's not a case of her speaking louder, it's a case of her speaking closer to the mic. She tends to drift away from the microphone and you have to lean into it and speak, uh, speak your normal voice, but just close to the microphone and it's, then it's easier to be heard. If she doesn't, if she doesn't do that, then I can just turn the music down next time. So, as I always say, this is not a race, and it is not a heart rate session. at this level it's okay if you talk close to the mic like I'm doing now you can hear me perfectly well the music doesn't seem too loud well it, I suppose it might do to some people so I guess I could I could lower the music uh, but uh, I think if you just speak close to the mic it's okay now that camera four is wrong That's better. 
Andrew Cutmore says good morning, Stephen. Hello, Andrew. Try to stay relaxed. Keep your shoulders down. Head up. And breathe easy. Seb, she did a good job. He's saying, seeing as it was her first time on her own, I think she did fine. And she'll just learn from the, the little mistakes that, well, not mistakes, but the little things that, um, you know, you, you normally do to make it work a bit better. But like Jeff says, at least she didn't spill coffee everywhere, which is what I've just done. I've got a massive clean-up job to do after the session. And I've probably just ruined my Zwift t-shirt. Amy Green says uh, Victoria did very well. Um, tonight I'm doing another rookie run, but again, I'm, my name isn't down as a leader. Hopefully they'll get my name down by the end, but I'm doing the rookie run at 6pm tonight. Double points, double points, double points. Double points tonight. I did an 800 session on the track last night. Five times 800 meters around the track. Gosh, it was hard work. Sub 5K pace for each 800 meter split. I had double points with Clive today. I'm not sure about that. might be lucky. Clive is only doing 12 sessions on Zwift today. Steve Milne says, I think I'm running in the real world tonight, although my legs are tired today. Yeah, get out there, Steve. It's a beautiful day. We really should be out in the sunshine today. It only gets faster from here. So up to six kilometers an hour now. Six kilometers an hour. Keep it steady and relaxed. If you are at 12%, you will be climbing 120 meters per kilometer. My right shoe feels very tight. 
my my foot feels like it's um, sore because my shoe is so tight. I hope that eases off. I hope I haven't injured myself last night. Uh, Clive Finmore says, how are you doing, Kate? Kate Berg, first time with us today. And she's a little bit ahead. It's okay, though, she's not that far ahead. She hasn't gone off like a crazy lady. Uh, Tonga is the only person who's about a minute ahead. Uh, but he seems to be going at about the right speed as well, so... I don't think anybody... Nobody's racing it off today, nobody's going mad. So that's good. Golden Trail Series, you'll see all the pro runners out uh, climbing like this on their toes. do the most efficient climbing possible which is running like this power hiking is also very energy intensive so you waste a lot of energy if you power hike uh, yes Kate reduce your incline if it's really already hurting a lot Heart rate 133, cadence 163. What about power hiking, Jeff? I think if you're, I think if you're power hiking, you are using a lot of energy and you're risking straining your hamstrings I mean it's, it is another way to do it I think this is more efficient if that is if that is what you're talking about I mean loads of people use power, power hiking power hiking is a very uh, popular way of getting fast up a hill Jeff says, um, power hiking isn't um, 
energy inefficient if you if you train at it. And there are certain there are definitely pros who use power hiking a lot. Um, oh, what's his name now? Zach Miller uses power hiking. Louise says, I'm well trained at the power hike. <laughs> and Jeff says, it also uses different muscles, so it gives your running muscles a break. This is true, yes. The question is, is that as efficient as this? Does it leave you less tired later in the race? I guess I would probably use a mixture of both. To be fair. hiking for me Jeff and it's a funny one when you're power hiking I often put my hands on my knees but I quite often have my race number pinned to my shorts so when I put my hands on my well it's on your thigh is it like the upper thighs I pull my race number off I know it's a stupid thing but I, I kind of I don't want to put my hands on my legs to push down because then I rip my race number off. It's a very silly little thing, but that's just one thing I, I notice a lot of the time. Also, if I power hike, it kind of hurts my back because I'm leaning forward a lot. So I've got my back hurts and I've, I'm straining my hamstrings. Shorter shorts. <laughs> No one wants to see any more of my legs. Right, let's go a bit quicker. to you buddy nice and uh, 
if you are dropping ride-ons and I've missed them, thank you very much. Ride on. Mo Magic, thanks. Yeah, yeah, so on the, yeah, I guess on the really steep stuff. Yes. I think on the really steep stuff, you may have no choice but to walk. those pro runners in the Golden Trail series TV program. Definitely worth it and some fantastic races. Mont Blanc Marathon, Zagama. Average 2.55. We, uh, yes, I know, but it was done by our coach and our coach said five. I would have done eight. Yes, I wasn't in charge last night and I would have done eight. Leo, nothing amazing. Well, apart from the Zwift Running League, buddy. Um, there's a new running league starting on Friday. And um, you need a team, team of three. It's organised by WTRL. Uh, so the website is WTRL.racing. Heart rate 141, cadence 167. Thought it, eh, Jeff? Tech issues? Question mark. Me? Question mark. Uh, Leo, yes, I'm in a team with Dan Map and Tim Iveson. I think, anyway. I, I haven't actually registered it yet properly. Legs are feeling it a little bit now. If not, bump that incline up even higher if you can.
Kai Finnemore's heart rate is 126. Cadence is 168. Sebastian Volt is 147 for both cadence and heart rate. Three hundred meters to go till the next change up, but that's the last proper kilometer, and we've got a nice two hundred meter sprint at the end. Amy Green's heart rate is one forty four, same as mine now. Mine's one forty four now as well. I don't know about that, Leo. I think you'd probably be better in that team than me. I'm the I'm the uh, the slow coach in that team. When we did the test event, Leo, I had uh, Dan Map and Adam Holland, so I was definitely the slow coach in that team. Don't neglect your breathing and your form. Keep your back straight, head up. Andrew, watch my video. I've got a video online now, which if you're confused about the, the running league, go and watch the video, it should help you out. It's on the Zwift Runners page now, or on the Film My Run uh, YouTube channel. Yes, arms directly forwards and backwards, says Jeff, pushing, driving you up the hill. saying that I swing my arms across my body, Jeff. Yeah? We'll stop. <sighs> Jeff is absolutely right. Make your arms move forwards and backwards in a straight line going, going forwards. Don't waste energy by swinging your arms across your body. Up to seven kilometers an hour. Totally correct. Make your arms drive you up the hill by moving them forward in the direction that you are running. I think you're in a particularly unique position because you've had a very traumatic life event as well as being out, out of training. So I think, you know, you just got to give yourself time, buddy. Easy, give yourself a month, two months to just slowly get back into it. You'll be fine because you've got muscle memory. So your muscles will quickly learn what to do again. Get your cardio function back with some fast sessions, but don't rush it, don't rush it, Leo. <sighs> right, Tina Beard says she, she's already watched my video about the running league and she's still confused. <sighs> what does that say for my explanation skills? <sighs> Rubbish. 
One kilometer to go. Once people have got their heads around it, it'll be all right. Okay, I'm getting dangerously close to 150 now. Heart rate, 146. Cadence, 169. Uh, thanks, Indio. India says I explained it a lot better than the website. Yes, also hard to commit to the same day every week. That is true. But it's only six weeks, so let's see what happens. Amy's on 152. BPM, that is heart rate. you need to get a team together because you can I mean if you want to just make a team you can make a team you're not, nobody's going to select you if you don't want to be selected nobody's going to ask you if you are uncomfortable running with a certain group of runners Jeff Partridge heart rate 145 Clive Finnimore annoyingly 130 for goodness sake. Oh dear, that didn't come out right. Oh dear, that didn't come out right. Uh, Louise has a heart rate of 115, that's amazing. She's power walking though. Louise, 
is power hiking with a heart rate of 115. Oh, Paula hiking. Unbelievable. Yeah, okay. Right. Fine. Let's all walk. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> right. Uh, well done, everybody. 300 meters to go. And uh, you go as fast as you like at the arch. Stay on your toes, though. Thank you very much for joining this week. What's up? We have another one on Thursday. Keep on your toes or go as fast as you like at the arch. Okay, here we go, last 200 meters. Okay. <laughs> Louise says her, her heart rate has now gone down to 103. Too good. Well done everyone, thank you very much for watching, thanks for taking part. Oh, I've just made it to 500 metres, because I had my coffee spillage. Right, if you ever want to know, you can see your elevation. On the Zwift companion app, if you click on the dashboard, after you've finished running, once you're out of a workout, because when you're in workout mode, this doesn't work. So you have to be, you have to be in like solo running mode, not in workout mode, because it, it won't show it otherwise. So once you've finished your run, no worries, Jeff, Andrew Jackson, no worries. Um, Tina says, see you guys, some of you guys at 12. Yes, yeah, so just click on dashboard on your Zwift companion app and it will show you how much elevation you've climbed. So you can see there, 502 meters of climb. Well done, uh, Louise, good job. Uh, Louise, by the way, uh, we do know Louise is a, a very good runner, regularly goes out and does very long distances. So no surprise there that <coughs> her heart rate is low. So yeah, that's that. You can see your elevation climbed by looking at the Zwift Companion app in the dashboard when you're when you've finished. Uh, Jeff Partridge did 2,953 feet, which is that's about a thousand meters according to my maths, Jeff, isn't it? 
So your your treadmill has doubled your climb. Wow. There's something up with the Nova Pro, isn't there, with elevation. Something going on there, definitely. Right, that's it. Uh, thanks very much for watching, everybody. Uh, thank you for the chat. Enjoyable, as always, even though you all took the piss out of me at the beginning because Victoria was better at me than streaming. And, uh, and then you all dismissed the session saying power hiking was better. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I expect to see you all on Thursday and we'll do exactly the same thing again. Sod power hiking. Uh, <laughs> take care. Actually, we'll see you tonight. We'll see you tonight for the uh, Tour of Watopia um, rookie run at 6pm UK time. Thanks very much, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.